You know, one of the most vital issues for voters, as you all know, heading into this presidential election, is the fight for reproductive rights. And Vice President Harris says she's willing to go to historic lengths to win this battle. Take a look. I think we should eliminate the filibuster for Roe. And, and, and we need and get us to the point where we, 51 votes would be what we need to actually put back in law the protections for reproductive freedom and for the ability of every person and every woman to make decisions about their own body and not have their government tell them what to do. Shame on her. She knows that the filibuster is the holy grail of democracy. You're not going to endorse her. I'm not endorsing on her. No. Well, we ain't endorsing you. How about that? <laughs> He's gone a whole other way. Yeah. But so does losing Manchin's endorsement uh, it actually might be worth the risk when male Republicans like Ohio Senate candidate Bernie Marino have this take on the issue. Check it out. Sadly, by the way, there's a lot of suburban women. A lot of suburban women that are like, listen, abortion's it. If I can't have an abortion in this country whenever I want, I will vote for anybody else. Okay, a little crazy, by the way, but especially for women that are like past 50, I'm thinking of myself. It's a mission for you. Oh, so that's how you lose an election. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. you make fun of half of the population. Yeah. An idiot. Well, well, listen, he over the hill also, he's ready for Viagra, this guy. <laughs> Also, the early bird specials. He's not exactly a spring chicken. He's got some uh, testicularity over there. You know what I mean? Well, th this guy, Bernie Moreno, is a direct result of the Trump era and the GOP, where the, can the quality of candidates just absolutely declines. Yeah. Unfortunately, he's running in deep red Ohio, where he has a real shot of winning. Right. But I want to speak to this issue. Of the after that statement. <laughs> right. Well, right. That will hurt him. Wow. Um, I want to speak to the issue of the filibuster, which basically means in the Senate, most votes require 60 votes to pass. Um, if you eliminate the filibuster, it requires a simple majority of 51 votes. Harry Reid did this in the past. McConnell did on su certain judicial appointments. I disagree with eliminating the filibuster to codify Roe, and here's why. It means that in two years, say Democrats win the Senate, and then in two years, Republicans win it back. They can also do the same thing to pass any unpopular piece of legislation. Think parts of Project 2025. There's a reason that the, sen that the Senate is the body where you build consensus. And I don't think it's right for voter, uh, for the American public to get that whiplash of, OK, for two years, you do have access to abortion. But then the dynamics in the Senate change and suddenly it's completely reversed and rolled back. I understand why Kamala Harris is taking this position, but I just disagree. I used to let agree me, with you completely, just for a second, though, because let's be clear, the filibuster is not a constitutional measure, right? This is something that has been made up added. and yeah. added uh, uh -huh. by Congress. The filibuster was designed and used for decades to thwart civil rights legislation, uh -huh. and its abuse has only grown with time. So now is the time to use the filibuster for good and in support of the will of the people. Three things, reproductive health rights, voting rights, and gun control. These are paramount American issues facing our country that must be resolved. We can't seem to get it done any other way. And so I am in favor of the filibuster well, as listen, a mother gotcha. and as a woman. I was going to say, I used to agree with you, and I actually defended the filibuster here a few years ago mm -hmm. uh, for all the reasons you spelled out. Um, it forces compromise, reconciliation, working across the aisle. But in the last several years, we've seen some things where it feels like ideals are out the window. So if we were in a vacuum, I'd agree with you. But right now, we have seen um, Merrick Garland blocked years ago by the Republicans in an Looking at President Donald Trump, we see that President Donald Trump says he wants to protect women. And the women, they view um, how to debunk him by bringing some videos that happened in the past. They say they don't want people to forget who the real President Donald Trump is. And they brought those footages of him talking about the Spring V people. You don't know when all this thing in Spring V will stop. And it was like mocking the people. You know the people in Springfield, how they eat, um, the American, their pet, and it was making a mockery of it. So the women in the view were, were not very happy. We all know that that happened so much he could wish. He was seeing the people in Springfield are eating pet. And we all know that um, it happens that the people in Springfield, there was this guy that, you see, he was driving and 
he had an accident. In that accident, one um boy lost his life. Um, and this guy who was driving was an immigrant from Haiti, actually. And he did not have driver license. And he did not have, like, green card. He was sent to jail. So, President took that story, Donald Trump took the story around with it. And now everybody in Springfield is accused that they are eating pets, which is not true. They have investigated and all is coming down, but he doesn't want to come down about that. So the women in the view were all talking that then they show one that clip that he said that all what the Hillary Clinton is doing is just to tell women that um don't become pregnant, don't become pregnant. Is that all about to say about the woman? So who people came and said that if somebody who say he's fighting for the people, look at him now. Degrading everybody, look at him. Is that the type of person the country wants to vote for? A man will decide when you have children and when you don't have children. So they decide if you have a bed control, you don't have a bed control. Which means that if you have to have 50 children, you have them. And you don't have no one to care for you. All they want to do is make the woman powerless. You know that even a children, the woman is the one doing more of the work. Although they talk about parents, the woman is the one doing basically most of the job for that child. And all the stress comes to her mom. And then I try to get off it. So he was just saying that this is not possible. It's not something that has to happen. All they have to do is to stop it. Basically, they need to stop what they are doing and continue whatever is happening. So actually, what do you really think about this? Do you support the fact that everything is happening as it is? Or you support the fact that you need to step down and stop all this? They also talk about that he he wants to protect people, women, from not having um the IVF stuff. Um, they were saying that the IVF he was against IVF, him and his vice president because to them, IVF. Anyway, basically, the women in the views were saying that IVF all pretty knows that most children came out from IVF. They give privilege for parents to have their own children. See, they are just behaving a kick. Why they are new? So they don't want, they are not in support of no woman. So, who people are saying that nobody should listen to what Trump is saying. Trump is just lying. So, do not pay attention to him. Actually, don't. But what do you really think? Can I see your opinion in the comment section? Do you believe that what is happening? Is it right or wrong? Let me see your opinion in the comment section. Thank you very much for watching. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe and help share the video. God bless you.